Ford began in 1967, when Ford supplied the Browns Hatch-based motor racing stables company with engines for its fleet of single-seater racing cars. Since 1967, the category has become a global sensation, with championships run all over the world, and an impressive list of drivers have gone on to Formula One. Matt and Senna, Nigel Mansell, Jody Schechter and Emerson Fittipaldi are just a few of the category's graduates. Jensen Button, the 2009 Formula One world champion, is another graduate. Whilst delivering great racing and a superb training ground, the class has used common Ford engines in the Kent, Z-Tech and Duratec power plants that highlight Ford road engines. For over 40 years, Formula Ford has produced tremendous racing and generated world champions. Formula Ford is the first rung on the single-seater ladder, and it allows drivers to learn about racecraft and car setup by working with their engineers. After 40 years, Formula Ford's continued existence worldwide underlines its position as providing safe, affordable and relevant racing. With official recognition from the Motorsports Association, Formula Ford is widely regarded as an essential part of the driver's development. Ford continues to connect with young people and helps them to realise their sporting ambitions in a category that generates healthy media coverage the world over. 2012 will see some big changes to Formula Ford. To find out what, we spoke to Bertrand de Costa at Miguel. We are involved in Formula Ford for more than 20 years. Uh, the British market is the biggest market in the world and the more competitive. And we support directly the team technically with pairs. Uh, and so with the feedback of the, the, the team, we try to improve the car. As it's an open class, it's very important to, uh, to, to, to evaluate. So much so that you've been entrusted, I think, with building the first of the new cars. Why a new car for Formula Ford? I think it was time. I think Formula Ford has one of the biggest history in motor racing with the Formula Ford. The other manufacturer uh, created different categories, uh, developed different things. The, the objective of the Formula Ford is to allow a kid and a father to access to racing, like, like it, it was in the past. The problem is at one moment you need to evaluate, uh, you need to be more modern and uh, I think it was really the, 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 the time, so we discussed this four years and definitely for 2012 we will have this, uh, this new car. Now what's so special about it because it's built to the latest FIA uh, safety regulations isn't it? It's a complete modern Formula Ford so the concept remained the same that it was in the past. Uh, so uh, a car which is uh, with aero, without aerodynamic, still an open class, which is, uh, except Formula 3 and Formula 1, the only uh, single-seater uh, open class. The FIA realized uh, that at one moment, with the emerging countries especially, uh, space frame was a very good uh, alternative because it's easy to build and it's easy to maintain and it's safe to maintain for uh, everywhere in the world because the technology is a well-known technology. And according to me, the, the, the new Formula Ford will be the first ever single-seater which will be fully approved uh, by FIA in terms of regulation, uh, and which means that it will pass all the criteria, which are the criteria of a Formula 3. The, the new Formula Ford will be a mix of steel frame with panels, so uh, lateral panels to protect the driver in uh, Tegris or Diolen, so which are carbon uh, materials, uh, plus front crash box to absorb in, in energy, rear crash box to absorb energy, and all the chassis will pass all the criteria of push test, crash test, like a Formula 3. And that will be the first time that a car is designed around this Article 277. Ford has a new engine, which is the EcoBoost engine, new generation of engine, and it was important for them that this engine reflect the new generation of Formula Ford. It's a 1.6 turbocharged engine. For Ford it was very important, but it's also a very good signal for the, the, the racing market that the generation of engine that we are using uh, is the state of the art for, for, for Formula One. And again for Ford, it's again the objective to prove that the road car technology can be used for racing. 
there will be a new generation of gearbox, six-speed sequential gearbox. Ford designers specified a, cer a certain number of parts on the car which were important to, re to be related to the road car and to the design of their road car, so that it's a Formula Ford because there's the, the, the Ford brand name. Uh, so basically, uh, we have wheels, uh, which are, will be the same on every car. Uh, we will have uh, the air in tree, which will be the same, the roll-up uh, cover, which will be the same, uh, plus some specific parts like that. Uh, that will be mandatory. And we work very closely with Ford so that uh, we find aero equity as much as possible so that any, any uh, manufacturer can be sure that he will have a car which will be uh, uh, which, which, which will can take a big advantage compared to another car to avoid that it becomes a fight in between manufacturers. The formula itself remains a free chassis formula. Exactly, that remains a, a free chassis, so that means that it, uh, it remains the only category where uh, everybody first can produce his own car, uh, there's a regulation, you have to stick to the regulation, uh, but you have a lot of freedom. Uh, you can see when you see Formula Ford, you always see some engineers who have very good ideas. And, and uh, in the past, all the uh, famous engineers of Formula 1 started with Formula Ford because it was the possibility to design whatever you want. You are free in terms of suspension, you are free in terms of chassis, you are free, uh, you have a lot of freedom. And e even in, in terms of aero, you still have some rooms, limited rooms, to avoid that it becomes just a, a battle. Uh, definitely, this is the future. What's very important to understand is, so Ford designers have been massively involved in the project, uh, defining all the standard. The, the, the idea for them was to, uh, to be sure to have this, to reach this level of sexy and cool car. So the regulation has also been done not just for engineers, but also to reflect a kind of modern looking shape. And at the end, finally, uh, Ford designers uh, have seen the interest to design their own car. So that means that the first car that will be presented at Frankfurt uh, will be a car which has been designed by designers of Ford.